Hello and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 7 Beginning Hour, the demo for Capcom's Resident Evil 7, which comes out on the 24th of January. Now I already played through this a couple of times and got bad endings. There are several different outcomes uh, depending on what you do and where you go. So let's see if I can do a bit better this time and actually escape from the house. Now, as a PC gamer, it is nice to see that uh, there is an extensive uh, options menu, lots of uh, graphical options that you can tailor to your uh, system specifications. And we don't know who we are or what we're doing here, but um, we are captives in this house and we need to try and escape. First things first, there is a note in front of us. I shall dash them against the stones. That sounds a bit ominous. Can uh, turn the note over, there's nothing written on the back. This ability to rotate items to check for more clues is carried over from previous Resident Evil games. TV set here with a VCR, but there isn't a videotape in it at the moment. Piano. Let's see if we can play a bit of Moonlight Sonata. Ah. I guess not in this Resident Evil game. It's worth noting that uh, the change to the first person perspective isn't that unusual, given that actually uh, there were plans for the original Resident Evil to be in first person than they. Uh, switch to third. So this is actually more of a return to Resident Evil's original roots. There is a fuse box here with a missing fuse and a diagram saying that the missing fuse is for power on the stairs. Now you might think that that's all there is to find in this room. But if we crawl actually see that hidden in the fireplace there is this handle. Which opens up a secret passageway. Um, which is uh, that kind of thing is to be expected in a Resident Evil mansion. And inside we can find the fuse. using a fuse box to restore power. Ooh, bugs. The way down there. If on your uh, first playthrough you don't discover this passageway at the start, something later in the demo um, does tell you about it. But if you then go find that passageway later on in the demo, the fuse is not inside and you're not actually able to access the areas that the fuse unlocks. So um, Capcom actually uh, expect people to play through the demo several times to uh, unlock everything and find all of the secrets. Footsteps. This place certainly seems to have a problem with black mould. Um, you might think that this actually means the door is sealed off, but you can in fact open it. hate it when you go to the toilet and the previous person hasn't flushed, hmm, left a nasty mess for you. It's not very considerate. Nor is leaving a literal bloodbath with a bicycle in it. Who leaves their bicycle in the bath? Really, that's just not courteous at all. 
We hear a wall full of crazy. Lots of uh, people's photographs and notes. As well as a whole lot of shoes and clothing and umbrellas. Can I take one? I need an umbrella, I'm British. Ah, handgun bullets in the drawer. That would be useful if I actually had a handgun. This door is boarded up. Blank notebook. Handgun ammo. Doesn't seem to be anything in here except some some notes and scrawlings. Apparently nothing we can make use of. Here's a very ominous looking door. It's locked. Um, to be honest, I think I'm glad of that. That um, that doesn't look very inviting, does it? That looks like the kind of place you get dragged into uh, <laughs> rather than a place that you escape to. Oh look, some sort of lovely hanging dolls, very Blair Witch. That's not spooky at all. <laughs> More footsteps. Dummy finger. Part of a dummy's hand made of celluloid. What's curious is that this drawer is also full of blood and scissors. But the thing has been cut off a dummy, not a person. Did a person lose their finger and try to stick on a dummy finger instead? Fully stocked fridge, all the food groups. Marvellous. Ah, bird for dinner. Turn this tap to stop it from dripping. One less uh, disturbing noise to creep us out. I've actually seen a pot of food get that bad um, back when I lived with students. Now this drawer is locked but it's worth remembering for later. There's a cupboard that's been chained shut. Carcasses, but um, at least they're animal carcasses. That's um, that's fine. Bolt cutters shoved into them for some reason. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's a lovely baby doll. <laughs> Get out if you had a key. Oh, how they taunt us. Well, we might not have a key, but we do now have bolt cutters. So if we head to this trained cupboard. Uh, 
A videotape. Derelict house footage. Somewhere. That's a bit worrying. That doesn't sound like a very human sound, does it? Yes, uh, we know somewhere that we can play this videotape. Let's just slot it into the VCR. Dolby Haunted House Rehearsal. Who? Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. So, we're now... This new guy? The cameraman. I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. This isn't a movie sequence. New We're plan. actually walking around. We do a walk through the, the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? <laughs> Ecstatic. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Get out of the way. It's locked. <clears throat> After you. It appears we're part of one of these. So, um, why are we in hell this time? America's most haunted you ever shows. Prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. <laughs> oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although... This will make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre? Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Now, before we follow him, we actually head over here by the microwave. Oop, same bird in it. Down here. A lockpick. And we can actually use that on the locked drawer over here. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Uh, I have headphones left here. Curious. What 
Look who's there. Did you hear that? Andre? Where the fuck is he? Andre, where are you, man? You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. there that's not there in the present you first need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder so uh you first <laughs> oh that's a convincing argument It's like in Blair Witch. He's standing there facing the wall. Was a thing. <laughs> and we return to the normal world, and there's a note here. Well, the same note, but now it says, I shall dash you against the stones. So somebody's written on it in blood and put it down in front of us while we were watching the TV. So, how did we not notice that happen? When we were watching the tape, did we actually go inside the TV, go into the tape, go back in time? That would explain how we could be watching the tape and yet um, you know, be walking around and interacting. Now, this time, here, the back door key. Bear in mind that um, if you use the tape to find out about the secret passageway, you don't find the fuse there. got knocked over in there. Now remember that drawer that I unlocked in the videotape? In that drawer we get an axe. Fantastic. Yeah, screw that! <laughs> So that's the uh, first time I played. Headed that way, given that I've uh, now got the back door key, and that's where the back door is. And, um. Yep, killer got me. 
And uh, it doesn't matter whether you have a weapon or not, there's no way to fight back against him. He, uh, he jumps you. So, uh, that is a bad ending. Okay. Uh, indeed, if you don't find the fuse at the beginning, um, that's pretty much the only ending you can get. Because you need the fuse to be able to use this button. Ah, that wasn't slow and creepy at all. It's very inviting. As are these scary looking mannequins. Ah, well, that felt cathartic, but accomplished absolutely nothing. Well, guess up we go. helicopter with the Umbrella logo on it. The Umbrella Corporation being the bad guys in the previous Resident Evil games. Are they watching us from that helicopter? So, uh, this suggests that, um, yeah, the story might actually tie in with the rest of the Resident Evil franchise. Can't hack through the door. And yet to find anything in any of these boxes. Well, guess this isn't Resident Evil 4. Ah, scary child laughter. <laughs> Five guests murdered, but where is unknown? Nothing to point to their final gravestones. Object made of celluloid. Looks like a hand. And, like in the previous Resident Evil games, you can combine objects together to make new ones. So if you stick the dummy finger onto the celluloid object, you get a dummy's left hand. <coughs> Some bullets here. Bed. Someone sleeping here. And basement key. Now that's going to be for that very scary looking gate, that doorway, and the mouldy corridor. <coughs> ah, finally! Bullets. Still no gun though. Ooh. It's locked. <coughs> but that could be an alternative to the uh, back door. Oh, that seems to be a dead end.
I've got a good feeling about this. Have you got a good feeling about this? Excellent, that's what we need for the bathroom. Okay. Ah! Oh no. valve handle, head to the bathroom, and attach it to the pipe. Now flush the toilet. Ourselves a handgun. Excellent. Uh, I think we're going to have to go back down into the basement. I'm sure that there's more down there. actually given us a proper weapon. And I am dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. And there you have it, Resident Evil 7 beginning hour. <laughs> With the full game out on 24th of January. Thanks for watching.